Welcome to On Mavon. Today we're going to pay homage to Nori, a.k.a. Noriega. Born in Queens, New York, Nori rose to fame as one half of the iconic duo Capone and Noriega. When Capone faced legal troubles, Nori took the solo path and released the album NRE, which became a massive hit in 1998, which changed the course of his career. His singles like Super Thug and Oi Mi Canto resonated with audiences blending his Latino American roots with hip hop. Now, my personal favorite is the album released in 2006, Nori en la Familia, with the hit songs such as Mas Maiz and Oi Mi Canto. Reggaeton is in my blood like hip hop is in my blood because I am half Latino American. I fell in love with this music. This is what Nori said um, about the song in an interview with MTV in 2004. I wanted to bring attention to Noriega because based off of social media, a lot of people say that there isn't enough Latino influence in hip hop. But I just wanted to show that Nori not only was involved in a reggaeton scene, but also American hip hop. So big ups to Noriega. Thank you for your contribution to hip hop. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and follow. And tell me, what is your favorite Noriega song? And I remember coming to New York and saying, yo, can you play the reggae Spanish shit? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, the reggae Spanish shit, the shit that sound like Bob Marley, but it's, que lo que? Mamita bring Brenda me. You know, like, it's that. And the DJs would look at me like I was crazy. So I said to myself, instead of me keep asking, why don't I do a record? So I did a record called Throw My Reggae Throne before. And it was it was lightly. And then I did Oye Mi Kando. Oye Mi Kando, we had put Tego on it because Tego just had a verse. But he's an OG. He was a he's super, OG. he was the biggie to me. He was the biggie smalls to me. And so bottom line, at that time, me and Tego was very cool, but he didn't want to be on the record. He wanted to change his verse. And he wanted to do all this crazy shit. So I had went. My boy named Super O. Super O brought me uh, to this club and said, watch this. And they played Gasolina. Gasolina. And I was like, who's this guy? And he said, he's the Nas. This is how they was describing me. This is how they was describing. They was like, Dago is um, Biggie. Yankee is Nas with a Buster Rhymes performance. So I was like, hmm. And then they gave me Don Omar. And I forgot how to describe Don Omar. It was a little weird. It wasn't, it wasn't like that I remember. But Don is my man as well. And I was like, yo, this music just needs to spread. So instead of me complaining about what people don't do, I just went out there and did it. I risked my whole career. Everybody from hip hop. Even Fat Joe called me and said, you got to stop this shit. <laughs> you got to stop this. We don't want to see you talking about this shit no more. Like, you got to stop. And I risked my whole career. And I was just like, I'm talking about for two, three years, people was like, oh, he wants to be Spanish now. Like, and just, it's real shit. And then you know what happened? Two years, first of all, I had the biggest reggaeton record in existence until this guy, what's that, Despacito, what is it? Thank you. But until, well, he's not reggaeton, so I still might got the reggaeton record. But um, so many people, I'm talking about, so many people was telling me not to do it. And I just believe, when I believe in something and I believe in, you know, my people, I don't care if you, you, I don't care if you, I don't care if you make fun of me. I don't care, like, if, like, listen, man, I got on Nike's shirt right now with Yeezys. This is frowned upon in the fashion world, in the sneaker world. And I just don't care about taking, I don't care about you making fun of me. 